Well, it's not about pretending. The parent definitely knows the gender. It's about not necessarily labeling the baby. It's about allowing the baby to decide what gender that baby wants to be when that baby can decide, which is around four years old. Like this concept of thinking. It's so stupid. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the true. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get my videos as soon as I put them out. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if it feels like I'm talking to you, you need to check yourself. Nigga, what? If you're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to my second channel, both are below in the description. All right, today I'm going to be reacting to two videos. The first video is going to be a woman that says that a woman's value increases with the amount of men that she's with. And the second video is going to be a woman saying that babies should be able to decide their own gender. Let's get to it. Hi, this is Sharzad. I f***ed four men today, and I believe that the more men a woman f***s, the greater is her value. It's like the more books I read, the more languages I speak, the more dishes I've cooked, the more children I've nourished, the greater is my value, my experience, my when a woman says that, that's what she's talking about. She's looking at it as her value is high because she's learning more on how to be better in the bedroom. So the more guys that she's with, the better she's going to be in the bedroom, which is why she thinks her value is higher. It's the same thing that happens to women that works at strip clubs. They get to the point where they feel like, all right, the only thing that a man wants is to be pleased by a woman. So he gravitate towards the woman that's going to please him the fastest. Which women please him the fastest? The pretty women because they already have the attention. So when men gravitate towards a woman that he is already attracted to and she's really good in bed, then it's easier for her to please him. That's the mindset that women are always looking at it. Women would tell you, I want a guy to like me because of who I am. At the end of the day, no, you want a man to like you for how much he wants to sleep with you so you feel pretty. The same way that a guy wants a woman to like him because he has money or because he's a nice guy that wants to treat her good. He thinks that's where his value's at. Meanwhile, a woman wants to chase the guy that doesn't want her. My love I've put into something increases my value. And I would like to say to the ladies, what would you do if the world didn't shame you or guilt you for enjoying it. And if you put it back on men to manage their... I think that we do have a fleet of women out here right now that are doing these things. You have to realize a lot of people are very, very, very lonely. You spend a lot of time alone. So you spend a lot of time pleasing yourself. And once someone gets around someone where it's actually about to go down in real life, people are doing things to the extent you have a lot more orgies, a lot more group sex that start to happen now. Women are way wide open. They're easier to be with. They're easier to get because everyone spends too much time alone and have programmed their brain for it because they've been pleasing themselves and the body's been releasing dopamine. So now everyone's running around trying to get dopamine. You're either going to please it you're either going to please yourself or someone's going to please you because you spend too much time alone. And men, what would you do sexually if you didn't believe you had to marry a woman or start a relationship with her just because you had sex with her? If you put it back on her to manage her own emotional state, sometimes I think we're in the dark ages. Thank you for listening to my video. The older women are always really open about their sexuality and the reason for that is is because they don't have to maintain being a lady because their value is decreasing they know the average guy out there it's not going to want them to try to build a family with so the best way for them to do is to talk about sex. it's the fastest way for women to keep their attention on them whenever they are talking to guys that's why like when you get around 
groups of women and there's men and there's women and there's debates. No one's sitting around talking about how to start a business. Everyone is always sitting around talking about men and women relationships or what you would do in bed or when you have a threesome with your husband, would you do that? But it's always the women with beta males talking about this because women can only talk about those things whenever they are around guys they're not attracted to. All right, the next video is going to be a video of a woman saying that babies should be the should be able to decide their own gender. Let's get to it. But doesn't this mean if you're going to raise a baby, how would you be able to change your child's diaper? Because the second you change the diaper, of course, you'd no longer be able to pretend that there was a question about whether this was a boy or a girl. You would know. <laughs> well, it's not about pretending. The parent definitely knows the gender. It's about not necessarily labeling the baby. It's about allowing the baby to decide what gender that baby wants to be when that baby can decide, which is around four years old. For, so from zero to four, the baby will not be labeled. The labeling theory will not apply from zero to four years old. The baby will be a baby, neither a boy nor girl. Like this concept of thinking is so stupid. You know what I'm saying? So what's happening is women don't have any boundaries. Men are too weak to give women boundaries. So women are running free. All right. They always say an idle mind is a devil's playground because any type of ideology can take over. That's what it's like with men in today's society becoming so weak that you're not giving women boundaries at all. So women are just running around feeling like they can do and say whatever makes them feel good and powerful. And that's what you have going on with this woman right here. It's just that no one's gonna tell her she's wrong because we have to accept it. Girl, uh, whatever gender that baby now, what other chooses to what be. Other what other profound life decisions do we think people ought to be making at the age of four? Are there any others? Well, you know, whether to get a tattoo, whether to get married, enlisting in the military, voting, drinking vodka, smoking Marlboro Reds. Is there anything else that we think four-year-olds are ready to decide? Uh, this isn't actually a profound life decision. I mean, biologically, yeah. there's nothing really going on from zero to four in that area that affects a person's life. Um, biologically, the experts say that boys and girls, uh, all genders are alike. The, the boy's brain, the male brain might be a little larger. The uh, female's language might be a little bit more advanced. Okay. No maybe, sexism on my show. Hold on. Whoa, sorry, slow down. No, sorry. here you're out there like... Hey, we live in a world now where a lot of men and women are the same, especially in the black community. It's hard to tell the difference between a woman and a man in the black community. Like you literally have to distance yourself because you don't know which is which. Why? Because of these type of thinking that women have. You have to understand we're in a world where women are running the planet because the men are too weak. But there's a reason why the Muslim community kept their women covered and kept them concealed because when you let a woman's brain run, you let it idle, she's going to always make devilish mistakes. And that's with any woman. Listen to what I'm telling you. That's with any woman. Women run their self into a wall, not necessarily a man. Say maybe Boys' brains are, are larger. And yeah. I just want to say that kind of toxic masculinity has no place in this program. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much. But that's all But no, think look, of. The, the bottom yeah. line is... Yeah. Yeah, all they can think of, like, difference in brain size, difference in genitalia, Perhaps. difference in bone structure. Perhaps. Just minor things like minor. Just minor, minor, minor things like that. Yeah. No, yeah. not perhaps, like, factually. So those are not minor things. Those are definitive things. Minor. So, like, why would you not tell your kids about that? The, you know, at some point, they're going to drop trow and look down and say, wait, we look different. You're going to be like, no, you don't. You're exactly the same. And that's, that's lying, isn't that's it? That's when the child, they say, is around four years old. So around zero to four, we're not going to say to a little um, female uh, a girl that. Because during that age gap, it's typically when children are the most vulnerable. That's why they're putting them the trans were in, in in those preschools reading to those little kids it's because you want four years to actually mold the child into what they want to be you know children between the ages of one and four are going to wake up and think they're a dog they're going to think they're a cat they're going to think whatever their imagination is but what you guys are trying to do or what the elites are trying to do or what an idle mind is trying to do 
is convince this child like, all right, um, maybe I want him to be a boy today or maybe I want them to be a girl today. If you stop and look at Hollywood, all of those women that have adopted those black kids have made all their black kids trans. It's like women are running around here emotionally so messed up that they are that they are taking children and they're brainwashing kids to worship them so they don't get hurt. A lot of you guys, your mother emasculated you, which is why you're walking around very sensitive, just like a woman, while you and women are into the same thing. You're into jewelry. You're into clothes. You want your clothes tight. You're walking past stores looking off of a mirror to see what you look like. Every five seconds, a man is in the mirror just like a woman because he's been emasculated. That's what's happening here. You wonder why you getting played? You wondering why you come on the internet every day and hate women that you shouldn't have been with in the first place, right? If you stop and look at the woman that, that hurt you, it ain't all women. It's because you fell for the woman that made your little pee pee hard and she didn't want you and you threw yourself onto her and you got played. Why? Because at a younger age, you were emasculated. And this is why, because of women just like this. Uh, you're a little princess or boy, you're such a tiger. The labels are gone. You're not going to um, put that out outside influence on a child. You're just going to be neutral. Everything's going to be okay. neutral. The, the outside influence of biological reality. Not so would reality, you do this with anything perception. else? Would you, could, no, but, but could we decide that we're not going to acknowledge temperature or weather or traffic? And you could just say, you know what? I don't think it's raining outside. Or you can decide whether it's raining outside. I mean, the weatherman says it is that there's snow on the ground or the weather. You, you know what I mean? The weatherman says that it's 15 degrees the out. But I'm going to, you know what I mean? Just kind of make up my own reality. The parents who are really no, leading this we acknowledge movement. biology and nature as real, right? But the biology, the parents who came out with this, who came out in the New York Times and started this baby awareness, um, this gender neutral awareness for babies, basically said, why should people be so obsessed if your baby is going to be a boy or a girl? Who cares about that area? It's actually a little human. We are bringing a little. This is exactly what happens when you allow the world to pretend to be whatever it is that they want to be. The world that we live in now, I feel sorry for the generation that's coming up because there's no future for you. There's nowhere for you to go. Everyone is in a state of mind of confusion. And I keep trying to tell people, if you want to be happy in modern day society, you have to find a way to keep yourself distracted from it, which means you must wake up every day and have a plan. Because if you allow your mind to idle, you're going to go through your whole day having a whole bunch of, of emotional swings. And you're going to think that you do not fit in society and you're going to wonder why you're still alive. You better stop and look at all these kids that are going inside of schools and they're shooting it up. Why? Because at school, it's a different ball game going on where you have a mixture of reality. These, these, these kids are being brainwashed online that when you come into reality, you don't even fit in anymore. So it's easier to take yourself out or take someone else out with you because you, you don't even see a reason to live. Hopefully you guys are getting the message behind both of these videos. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.